Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here's a special intro to episode 35 of Across America. Robert said he's going to wow us with an intro with a song. Take it uh, away. Take it away. Yeah, but my my iPhone's not working right now, so take, I can't play the song. Take it away. Did you? Oh, you thought I was going to sing? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I was just going to play it. I, just, I found the song I really like. Take it away. No, but it's Rob, just, sing the. It's not. I, I swear to God. I didn't know you wanted me. I can't Rob, sing. You are embarrassing the but I can't hell sing. out of me right now. Okay, well, just give me your charger and sing. I'll charge my, my phone real quick. Okay, episode 35. I didn't Robert know I Lim's going to sing a song. Nope. Three, two. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Never said I was going to sing. I said I'm. I found a song. I found a song. All right, we'll just write or say the lyrics to the song. Say them. You don't have to sing them. Okay. If you want to go and take a ride with me, three wheeling. Hold on. In the full. In the full. With the gold CDs. What I don't, is this? Uh, oh, why do I live this way? It says here the lyrics are. It must be the money. Oh. I don't, I don't know. That sounds. I just pulled up lyrics to random song right now, oh, so it's I really, don't even know. Uh, really soulful. It's by an artist known as Nelly Neli Neli. Is that how you pronounce Is it? Is it Neli? It's a N E L L, and I think that's a Y. Let me zoom in. Actually, two L's in Spanish is Y still, so it's Ne. Ne. Okay, so Nelly. <laughs> You idiot. Uh, you didn't I, have a song at all, did you? No. Uh. Nope. I've never even listened to music <laughs> ever. So oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 you, open you, to exploring that you, medium, you but I just haven't me, yet. You promised me that this this podcast would be brought up by a series of animal noises and mm-hmm. grunts. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we intro with. That's the in- I thought so. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. I don't one day I'll listen to music. I hear it's quite good. I hear sometimes. it's good too. I like it a lot. Depending on which ones, which ones of the music you listen to, sure. which musics do you listen to? I listen to metal musics. Just metal, my... like like ting ting ting. Yep, that's ting. the one. Like if I was to live in a dwarven mine shaft, I'd probably be in heaven all the time. Or like in medieval times, where yeah. they're always like making yeah, yeah, yeah. swords and pots. Uh, I like metal music, and um, recently. Mm-hmm. I've really enjoyed uh, Chris Stapleton, and I don't like country music. I don't like country music either. But I love him. I don't know him I that well. I love him. I don't really know that much. I know, like, classic country. Yeah, that's... You know, like, like, yeah, like Hank Williams <laughs> Jr. or no, Senior and, and uh, Johnny Cash. You like Johnny Cash, I do though. love Johnny Cash, but Johnny's not really country. Uh, he's still country, I think. Sure. He's a little bit country hey, and a little bit rock, rock and roll. And roll. <laughs> like Leonard Skinner, do you consider them country? No. They're southern rock. They are southern rock for yeah. sure. Yeah. Cuz I grew I grew up my whole family's from Alabama. I grew up with Leonard Skinner. Hey, Simple Man's one of my favorite songs. One of mine. Too. I lied by the way before when I said I didn't listen to music. I listen to it all the time. <laughs> so Simple Man is one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Somebody out there's going, "What? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a minute. He just said he doesn't listen to the what music. A, what a roller coaster of emotions." <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want to tell them about the big lie? Yeah, let's get to the walk, you didn't which actually... is not not true. You didn't actually do any of this. It's actually a story I'm writing, and I'm trying to just test it out on people to see if they like it. And we've got no feedback so far, so, so we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep going until I hit Key West. <laughs> until you hit this it, make quotation marks Key, Key West, because I don't even know if that exists. Yeah, we timed that so perfectly. We live in Florida, and I've never been further south than the Skyway. Other than... Your Other than walk. the fictional walk. So I don't even know what Key West I, looks like. I really like. hope we don't have super literal people that listen. Because they'll be just... It's, we're sending them through through hoops of... of yeah, emotion. they don't know what's true and what's not. Yep. And that's well, a bad thing? I mean, it depends. Depends what you're looking for in a podcast. <laughs> if you're looking for fact, don't listen to this. No, you can listen to this. It's true. It's true. It's all true. It's all true. It's all true. Except for when I make stuff up because I do that a lot. Yeah. That's why you're here. Yeah. To keep us not grounded. <laughs> to keep you. Well, you know, if you, you want to just sit in here by yourself and, hi, ladies and gentlemen, my no. name is Robert Lamb. Welcome back to yeah. Across America. That's why I didn't want day, to do it. To NPR. Day 34, walking. <laughs> 
you as audio, I looked upon the mouth. You yeah. audio <laughs> edit everything walking. you do. And I opened up this soda. And I was like, mm, this sounds really good. That's why we should we should do a podcast, a fictional podcast, where we do all the sound effects, too. Yeah. <laughs> Just all, all the... <laughs> uh, I'm so into that right now. That would be pretty cool. We could do a couple short ones. Yeah. Just to see what it's like. Do yeah. all the sound effects. Yeah. Whoosh, that's rushing water. What is that one? <laughs> that was rushing water. Okay. Do um, Give me something. What do I got? All right. Um, let's do something different. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you like an actual scenario. Sure. Okay. You're camping. All of a sudden, a raccoon bursts into the tent and t- and takes your candy bars and runs off with them. Okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> Just be the raccoon Just stealing the, the candy raccoon. bars. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Just know it'll be a lot of scratching and I, what do they sound like? I have to hear one and I can definitely do it. Hold they on. Can, Hold, please. I'm pretty sure they just sound like a, like a, like kind of like a higher pitched Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I know. Raccoon noises. Rac- so here's the raccoon. That's a door opening. Was it? Where's the raccoon? Jack? This is only thirty seconds, so if he's not making noise, that high pitched squealing is him. That's him. I thought that was you said the door. I thought so. I was wrong. Okay, so that would be a, a horrific screech. Yeah, yeah. that was scary. All right, give me something practical. All right, just do just do like the wind or something. That's too easy. That's too easy. It was too easy. That was too easy. Do um. A door opening and somebody walking in. They got platform shoes on. <laughs> hey, man, you ready to do this uh, podcast, Rob? Why are, you, sure, why are you walking up to me while I'm doing this? Because I was walking the other way. You're standing really close. You didn't even open the door that I just closed. I'm going to go close it now. All right, hold on. Oh, man, your door sounds way different than mine. That's so cool. <laughs> why, why do we have two front doors? Man, I don't know, man. Or is the back door just this close? I don't know. I'm just checking on this raccoon out in the backyard. <gasps> this is the worst fucking podcast we've ever done. I know. This is really going to upset Jason. <laughs> Jason. So, ladies and gentlemen, halfway through the episode, <laughs> we're doing this because Jason's going to be on next week. Jason is a friend I work with. Yep. Uh, him and Josh. Josh has already been on the podcast once. Josh but they, has been on. They've been listening to this podcast and they know about my walk and they're interested in it. So they've been following along and asking me questions and all that kind of stuff. So they're going to join us. Devoted listener of the show, Jason, is the one who has told us to stay on topic. Stay on topic, which we haven't even started the topic on this episode. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know. Honestly, that was not even intentional. We just got our fuck around pants on. And that just happens. I've said F word twice and all the children. Children that listen to this in preschool are Great. really upset with me. I'm not going to overshoot. I'm sorry. All right. So Jesus. you just got through the Monkey Mountains. The weird okay. lady was mad at you because of your ravioli. And 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 I camped at uh, St. Joseph uh, Campground. Okay. So I did mention that my tire was broken. Like it kind of – because of the Monkey Mountains, my tire, like the the bearings or whatever it was, like the, whole, the wheel just messed up. In the front – it was the front wheel, which was like a smaller type of wheel. Mm-hmm. So – um. It wasn't, like, filled with air or anything. It was just rubber. So I needed to get it replaced. So I saw that there was a Walmart in St. Joseph. So I walked over. There was a Walmart and a Lowe's. And I was like, you know what? I'll go to Lowe's first and just see if they have, like, a tire. So I went over there. And I was looking for, like, um, lawnmower tires because I figured I could just switch that out pretty easily. Yeah. but I Those are durable, too. Yeah, but I couldn't find one, like, a good one at Lowe's that was, like... Not super expensive. So I went over to Walmart, and Walmart had some plastic ones, but then eventually I found, uh, like, a metal rimmed one. So I'm like, I'm going to do that one. So I bought that, but I didn't have the tools, like any screwdrivers or uh, wrenches or anything like that to fix it. So I went over to Walmart's, the the automotive section, um, like, where they bring the cars in and stuff. And I went over to one of the mechanics, and it was, like, this younger kid. I was like... Hey, man. Um, hey, babe. Can I either borrow some tools real quick and you can watch me the whole time? Or can you just help me fix this tire and I'll pay you for it? I know you 
got to work on cars and stuff. I just want to get this fixed real quick, um, but I'll, and I'll I'll pay you for your time. And he's like, um, okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm walking across. Like, I told him what I was doing. So he's like, okay, yeah, let me go talk to Rob put my that supervisor. Ace his, he put that ace in his pocket. I'm always going to say that just in case. You like, know what I mean? Hey, uh, you want to do this? And as soon as the kid's weird out, oh, uh, did I forget to mention this? I'm walking across the country. Listen, I just don't want him to think that I'm like this weirdo. You know what I mean? Were you wearing your shirt? I'm always wearing the shirt. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> In this scenario. Yeah, I was. I was always wearing... I had, like, only three shirts, and they were all Walk Across America shirts that my friend JJ made. So, um, he was like, yeah, I'll help you out. So, he helped me change out the tire real quick. I tried to give him, like, ten bucks. It didn't take long at all. And then he was just like, no, dude, you're good. So, I was like, all right, thanks. He's like, so, enjoy your walk. So, I left. I, I left uh, St. Joseph. And the next couple of days were pretty good. They were pretty peaceful. I think weather was like in the low 80s. It was like really nice, like walking weather. Yeah. Um, and then when I found like, um, I, I haven't been saying like dates and anything, but uh, I did find like September 8th and 9th was at, like um, the week after my walk through Monkey Mountain. So it's September right now. So that's why probably the weather was getting a little bit cooler and stuff. Um, but I found like this cheap motel and I had to start doing some more homework. So I was like, I'm going to get a motel room. I ended up staying two days and went shopping at Walmart again, bought a bunch of stuff, like stocked up on Gatorade. And I, I ended up buying like Gatorade powder and then I would just mix it with, cause I carried like that huge jug of water with me and I would just pour it into like a little bottle and then mix it. It was a lot easier than buying yeah. individual bottles of Gatorade. And then, um, I did laundry because I needed to do laundry. I only had three shirts. Three shirts and like two gym shorts. The entire walk? Yeah. I mean, I had I'm jeans not, I'm not, too, I but not that I wasn't wearing. That, like, I was dirty. Oh my God. It was gross. Dude, what do you, you. No, I really I only brought, had. I brought a month's worth of clothing because I didn't <laughs> want people to judge me on my walk. I think I might have had four shirts. I think I had three Walk Across America shirts and then one just like gray shirt or yeah. something like that. Um,. So I, I did laundry there. I also noticed that every time I got into a motel room, I was watching Golden Girls a lot. Now, what is that? It's the timing. Is that a side effect of the walk, or is that just because I was usually in the hotel room like during the day? Uh, it's also a fact that a lot of people might not know you. Well, a lot of people that are listening to this know you. But they don't know how much you appreciate the classics. And I do. The older stuff. I do appreciate. The so classics. the Golden Girls throwing down on TBS is right up your alley. It was because there wasn't there wasn't usually like especially some of these motel rooms like they didn't have a lot of channels and shit. Yeah, and especially the really cheap ones like they don't have HBO and all that kind of crap. Yeah. So I would watch like TBS or TNT or the news or whatever it was, and. Uh, I just I, I just always thought it was funny because every time I went to go watch something, if I wasn't doing homework or stocking up or going outside or something like that, it was always like Golden Girls was on. So I would watch it a lot. Most I ever watched of the Golden Girls, even though I do appreciate the classics. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then after that, like I headed down or I walked along Highway 36 towards Macon. Uh, I'm going to name drop a bunch of towns right now. Uh, Macon, and then after Macon, I went to Columbia, and I, th I think I stayed like a day or two in there. And I don't remember if it was to do homework or or not, but I just maybe to rest. And then from Columbia to Jefferson City, there was a, a campground there, and I was like, you know what? I've been hitting like either like a cheap motel room or a campground, like every town. I'm like, I can do this. I can make it again. I'll try to like walk it. The problem was I found out that it was 47 miles and I was like, I don't think I can do 47 miles in one sitting. I'm like, but you know what? The, the weather's been nice. I haven't had too much trouble with like my tires or the roads or anything like that. I'm like, I, I'm going to try to do it. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. So I like, I ended up like waking up in Columbia at the the campground I was staying at. I woke yeah. up at like five a.m. and I still had that jacket or that um, reflective vest from the guy, the construction worker in Nebraska. So yeah. I still had that. I was like, I'm gonna put this on because I'm gonna be walking along at five in the morning. It'll start getting light around like six, seven, but I'm gonna start walking. So I'm gonna wear this and see how it how it works out. How it goes. Yeah. So I put that on. Put on my Tampa Bay Rays hat. 
that was all crusty and still is, <laughs> and then um, just set out. And I was trying to reach, uh, it was called the Osage, Osage, whatever it's called, uh, RV Park in Jefferson City. And uh, I, call, I called the owners and I, I just asked, like, how much it would be and stuff like that. And they're like, you know, they're telling like, me the prices. Are you walking across the country? And I told them that. They still didn't give me a discount, but Ooh. that's okay. So I'm like, yeah, we don't care, right. buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta make a living somehow. I'm walking across the country. Yeah, so am I. Listen, Forty-seven dollars, sir. If we give every guy who's walking across the country <laughs> a discount, <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll be so. out of business. Um, it's not like it's wallet guy. Yeah, <laughs> wait a second. What? <laughs> Your wallet guy? Your wallet, guy. honey. You never guess who I got on the phone. <laughs> Honey, it's Wallet Guy. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was 47 miles. I'm like, this is going to be like a long day of walking. So I was like, I can do it. So I put on a bunch of podcasts, just a loop, <laughs> like, or uh, just a set list. And I went, miles. I walked 47 miles in that day. And I walked from, like I said, I left at 5 a.m. from Columbia. And yes, if you Google map it, it won't say that it's 47 miles, but that's because you drive and you can drive along the interstate and stuff like that. If you put that you're going to walk, it is 47 miles because it's like a... I wonder who at this point would challenge you on that. Like, just, you know what? Nope, there's that, always critics and that stuff. That little stretch that he's talking about, that's that's actually 30-something miles. It's actually 46.5 miles. Yeah. Well, Where to go? Phony. This guy is just fucking exaggerating. This guy's a... <laughs> fo- he's a phony and a liar. Yeah, that's me. But when I made it there, I remember it was like this really small park and... I want to say – I will say, though, that that was the – I think the first time that I listened to a fictional podcast, too. Because I was like, I want something that I can listen to. I kind of got tired of podcasts, mm-hmm. and I didn't – I was tired of uh, listening to audiobooks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a fictional podcast. So I started listening to We're Alive, which is like one of the classic audio dramas. Sure. And it was about zombies and stuff. And I listened to that, and it actually did help. It, like, mixed things up because of the sound effects and everything like that. It was different from the audio books and it was different from the podcast. The monotony, I'm sure. Right. it up a little bit. So, like, it helped a lot. And I remember I listened to it for, like, hours. <laughs> um, but I will say, when I got there, I was, like, pretty did you, proud. Did you listen to five or six episodes and then give it a two-star rating? Because there wasn't you enough. loved everything. Yeah, I loved it. There, there just enough. wasn't enough. <laughs> No, because there was enough. I think by that point, they already had like three seasons. I'm sure they're great. That is no way. No, it was more uh, about us. Yeah. (laughs) Um, No, but when I got when I got there, I remember again, my legs were like killing me. Like they were just like numb. I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that again for a long time. Um, But the next week I'm like, okay, well, now I'm going to head like I'm going to kind of start heading more um, east and I noticed that there were some small towns leading to um, Salem, which isn't not not the witch trials, Jack. Nobody said not that. that one. I know, but you went over there. I looked at you, and you gave me that little wink, and you started making like little pigtails, and like you know, you were doing like ghosts, kind of. You know what I mean? Like why, I saw it. Why are you narrating what I'm doing now and not the other <laughs> stuff that I do? Well, because those are – that's – Yeah. I don't want to say what you do normally. Yeah. Yeah. Really inappropriate, even for a podcast. <laughs> Whatever. It gets more of a even reaction out of you. It's a visual – yeah. It, I'm trying those to, visual I'm cues trying to get that you, you to do. Portray, portray real fear. Uh, no, and I'm not going to do that. But um, next week, when yeah. Jason and Josh <laughs> join us, then, then, then Robert will. will portray real fear for you. And until then, everybody have a wonderful day. And we miss you. And go to sevenlamb.com to get all of your seven lamb needs. That's right. <laughs> seven don't go to sevenlamb.com. Well, do go to sevenlamb.com. Yes. But also go to blogtalkradio.com forward slash seven lamb. Yeah. That'll give you everything. Yep. That was a gong that I hit. It sure. To signify the end of the episode. Love you guys. Say something, Rob.
This has been a Seven Lamb production.